Hey, it's Neil Perfect here. Welcome to video number 32, I believe. Uh, this is a quick and silly one. Uh, there was talk on the forum a few weeks ago about Doppler effects, and I thought I'd take a stab at it. Um, this is no way scientific or exact. I was just sort of doing this for fun. So <laughs> here's sort of what I came up with. So the first thing to do is to record the sound, in my case, that I want to uh, have that Doppler effect applied to. So I thought a good example of that would be like an engine sound, you know, like a car driving by. So let me just record something. Um, obviously, I want to pretend that uh, the car engine is static in sound, like it's just at a constant pace. And then that way the effect we hear is just like the the Doppler effect, like slowing up, sp speeding, or speeding up, slowing down kind of thing. Uh, let's see what happens here. And again, this is not scientific. I'm just messing around because I'm just having a, a lazy Sunday evening. So here we go. So I have my microphone preamp right there. Here's my mic source in one. I'm on the six track recorder. And here we go. This is my engine sound. So there's my engine sound. That was the worst thing I think I've ever done. So save audio, uh, new file. We'll call this uh, engine engine Neil. Because I recorded one earlier just as a test, but I thought I'd just uh, do another one now. So enter to save. I can back out of this. And uh, let's just, I'll just put in a native player here so you can just hear what that sounds like. So I'll just assign sample, uh, load samples. I believe it's in my recorded folder. It's down here somewhere. It should be called Engine Neil. I really got to be better organized here. There it is. So we can preview this. <laughs> Oh my god, that's beautiful. All right, so <laughs> I'll select that. It's in the buffer. And uh, I guess we don't need that native player right now. I'll just uh, take that out. So earlier, I made a custom unit. Within it, I have a single sample player. And I will assign that new sample to it. Uh, engine Neil, sure. And I'm just going to go into slices and... I'm just going to add a slice right off the top. I'll put it right there. So we have one slice. Um, and here's here's my thought. So a Doppler, like that sound is all about, you know, an object's coming towards you and then it's moving away from you. So the sound waves are compressing and then expanding, causing that sort of shift in pitch. So we need something to control the speed of the sample player. And just for an added fun, I also added a low pass filter after that. So the idea is initially our high frequencies are cut off because the object's a little bit far away. And then the closer it gets, this parameter will also rise. And when it hits its peak, like the moment like that object is near you, it will then drop away back to this lower cutoff rate. And the pitch is doing the same thing. It's, it's starting at a lower rate, it's rising, and then as soon as it hits that peak point, it drops again. So it's going to go, that kind of thing. Um, so the idea here was to use a custom control. So both those parameters could uh, be controlled from one place. And within this, I literally just put an ADSR with a long attack time for the and then a faster release time. So it's like a that kind of thing. And I just have a, uh, I have this descending at a gate. So let's hear if this works. And uh, hopefully I'm not embarrassing, my, embarrassing myself too badly. So, and I hear nothing. And why is that? <laughs> what did I do? Did I turn the volume down? No. I literally had this working right before uh, I started this video. So, oh, I also had a VCA opening and closing. So it would go, it would open and close just so it wasn't this constant sat static sound. And I should be hearing that. I can see it opening and closing. 
Oh, you know what? I think my sample player is paused. Let's go in there. Oh yeah, yeah, it was paused. That was my mistake. So let's go back in there, start, and that should be it. So let's see what happens here when I play this. Bad. But that is sort of a Doppler effect, right? Like, <laughs> one more time. So I could, if I didn't want to be as fast a flyby, I could just up the release time a little bit, could up the sustain time a little bit. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> oh man, I don't even know why I'm making this video. This is pretty embarrassing. But uh, I don't know, just an idea to fiddle with the sample player and uh, the pitch and sort of the Doppler effect. I'll call this the the super poor man's Doppler, even though I'm using a pretty expensive model to try it out. But <laughs> Let me just try a faster attack. And I'll try a... Let's just see what this sounds like. It's all about fiddling and just coming up with things, right? <laughs> it's sort of a little bit more... Uh... <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. It's it, And again, if the, uh, if the pitch wasn't being affected, it wouldn't be as convincing. <laughs> It's just the same pitch, like that's not helping us. So by introducing that ADSR on the actual pitch, you get that sort of kind of thing happening. Let's see what happens if I do this drastically. <laughs> okay, so let me try lowering the release or upping the release time. See if that sounds any better. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, anyway, just some ideas. All right. And with that, <laughs> I'm out of here. See ya.